Good morning, good day, or good night, depending on where you are in the world. It's your boy, Matt Weeze, back on the ones and twos. I got another one for you. Last night, I had a dream that I was in the NBA playing for the hometown Lakers, and I was balling, crossing cats over, hitting threes, dunking on dudes in the lane. I was scoring out of my mind. It was just like, it was crazy. And then I had to wake myself up because that is a lie. I haven't hooped since my sophomore year in high school, but I can tell you when the last time I did, a celebrity basketball game down in Long Beach, Long Beach Poly. And I don't know why all bad things happened against Long Beach Poly. I lost to them in the, the CIF championships my senior year, but I shouldn't have took my ass down there, but I did anyways. It was a gloomy day down in Long Beach. I walk into the gym. My boy Sammy Parker invited me down to this celebrity basketball game. I think my boy Mercedes Lewis was there, plays for the Green Bay Packers. He hooped at UCLA. My boy Dominique Bird, who uh, played up for the Arizona Cardinals. Crazy athlete. I mean, this dude was a baller in the basketball court too, a baller, crazy springs. Uh, you know, there were some NBA dudes. I think my boy George Reister was there. Uh, you know, some comedians. It was it was a good event, good event. So anyways, uh, you know, before the game starts, you in the warm-up lines, and cats are out there showing their, their athletic ability off, you know, out there dunking and stuff like that. So I got a little tendonitis in the knee that day, but I was like, man, let me go ahead and show these cats that I had a, you know, 39 and a half, 40-inch vertical coming out of the draft. So I get the ball, come down, yum, throw down a nasty dunk during the warm-ups. You know, D Bird Mercedes is like, okay, Weez, yeah, I see you hyping me up. You know, make me feel like I belong out there a little bit. You know, with these with these with these real hoopers, right? So, uh, you know, do that a couple more times, and then the game starts. Well, I start the game out on the bench, and I'm watching I'm watching these guys do you know crazy things out on the floor. You know what I mean? You know, hitting threes, crossing cats over, same stuff I was doing in the dream. It was going on in the game, right? So I'm kind of feeling stuff out, trying to decide like what I'm gonna do when I get in there, right? So, uh, you know, the timeout happens, like, hey, Weez, you're in the game, man. So I go in there, we go on the court, you know, two or three times, real uneventful, nothing nothing for me. The fourth time down the court, someone throws up an errant, errant, pat, uh, errant shot and uh, Michael Beasley, Michael Beasley, one of the, you know, Kansas State legend, uh, NBA legend grabs the ball. So uh, I start getting back on defense. I was the only guy back. And I'm a defensive guy, right? So like, you know, there's not gonna be no easy buckets up in here. There's not gonna be any easy buckets up in here. Before I finish this though, before I finish this, let me grab a little sip of this drink. Cause uh, this bean protein and aminos, cause it's about to get real physical in a second. Code Emma 10. Code Emma 10 if you want to get some of that right there. Oh, man. So, like I said, I'm getting back on defense. Here comes Beasley down the court, right? And uh, I'm not sure what this dude had against me or if he had just watched, you know, or just got done playing NBA jams or something like that, but something bad was about to happen. I was, I did, I didn't know about it. So I'm getting back on defense. This dude's coming down the court fast, real fast. And I'm like thinking in my head, damn, is he gonna is he gonna cross me over and like, you know, go to the lane? Is he gonna is he gonna pull up and hit a shot? Like what's gonna happen right here? You know what I mean? Cause I'm not take I'm not giving him any easy buckets. So I think we crossed the three-point line and I'm still coming back. I'm trying to figure out what this dude is doing. You know what I mean? Am I gonna have to give this dude a hard foul or what? this dude throws the ball up. And I'm like, damn, I didn't see anybody else getting back but me. Who's he throwing the ball to? When I say this nigga took flight, oh, <laughs> oh, he took flight. And here's me right here doing one of those. He throws the ball up. I go up to try to grab the ball. I come back down, he's still elevating. He throws the ball up off the backboard, right? 
and throws down a vicious dunk. I mean, a nasty dunk. Man, the whole place erupts. The whole place erupts. It's like an AM1 mixtape. Cats running on the floor, falling on the ground, screaming, hollering. And then there's me sitting over there with the boo boo face. <laughs> because I just got posterized, memorialized, demoralized. Oh, everything, any kind of lies that you could think of just happened to me at a celebrity basketball game that I had no business being at in the first place. So, <laughs> you know, Humpty Dumpty sat on that wall and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall and all the King's horsemen, all the King's men, yeah, on this day, they were coming to put weeds back together again and it wasn't happening. My soul was crushed, done. I might've called timeout on my own and took my, my sorry ass out the game and sat my ass down on the bench. Oh, it hurts so bad. It hurts right now. I know my dad, he's probably he's probably not gonna talk to me for a couple of weeks. I know that footage is out there somewhere, but <laughs> that dream I had last night, oh, it was a lie. Oh, it was a lie, because I had no business being out there on that court with NBA cash. You're not good enough, sir. You're not good enough. Michael Beasley, I don't know what you had against me, bro, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever I did to you, dog. You didn't have to do me like that, man. It's your boy, Weez. Signing out on another one. Peace.